Yo, what's up, guys? Today we're here with Philip. Hello there, everyone. And we're reacting to this video from a channel called History Matters. So shout out to the channel. This is British um, giving back Indonesia to the Netherlands. Uh, so the name of the video is Why Did Britain Give Indonesia Back to the Netherlands? So okay. if you're watching from the UK, uh, what's up? If you're watching from the Netherlands, then... Um, and if you're watching from Indonesia, Apakabar Indonesia. Let's go. go. During the Napoleonic Wars, Britain found itself at one time or another fighting against most European countries. And amongst those was the Netherlands, which was defeated and made into a French puppet before being annexed entirely. During this period of Dutch subjugation, Britain seized its overseas empire until the end of the war, at which point the United Kingdom returned Indonesia, an extremely profitable colony, to the Netherlands, in spite of keeping profitable. other less valuable lands. Which raises the question, why? Why did Britain return Indonesia to the Netherlands? So, as the Napoleonic Wars dragged on, one of Britain's primary goals was to starve France and her allies of overseas trade. When the Netherlands was annexed into the French Empire, the British decided to act and deprive France of the Dutch East Indies and its profits. It conquered Java in 1811 and held onto it until Napoleon's first defeat in 1814. At this point, the coalition allies opted to restore the Netherlands to a kingdom with these borders. The reason for this was that Austria, Russia and Britain wanted a buffer state between France and Prussia to stop any wars before they started and keep the balance of power intact. Now, Britain was in possession of the Dutch overseas empire and as a result held all of the cards. And as such, it was up to Britain to decide what to return and what to keep, and it kept all of these notably taking half of Dutch Guiana and Cape Colony. But Britain handed the Dutch East Indies back, so why? Well, why? the primary reason was to make sure that the Netherlands remained strong. If robbed of all of their colonies, the Dutch would lose access to a lot of wealth and thus would be too weak to deter either France or Prussia. Now, Britain could have kept that wealth for okay. itself, but the hope was that Britain wouldn't have to get involved in continental affairs if the Netherlands was a deterrent. Initially, the British government had intended to hand all of the Dutch colonies back. However, Guyana made a lot of money for British sugar companies, and the Royal Navy wanted to keep control of the waters around the Cape of Africa. And so, the Prime Minister was under a lot of pressure to keep the useful bits. Another reason was that the British government was asked by the East India Company not to keep Java. The reason was that the East India Company was worried about overextending itself and potentially being dragged into a war that would cost money. The cost of extra defences would be pricey, and the returns were now much smaller. Bro, this it's all about money. Britain was running the colony yeah, and took over the always. Always cash crops. That. And because making money was popular, they stole the secrets of how to grow <laughs> them, as well as the popular. cost themselves. <laughs> it did, however, give the Netherlands the ability to expand across the region and make more money than they were previously, which to Britain seemed like a win and would also act as a means of keeping the Dutch friendly. And also, Britain acknowledging okay. their ownership of Java would hopefully act as a warning to others. Interestingly though, this was not the last time that the UK would hand Indonesia back to the Dutch, because in the immediate aftermath of Japan's surrender in World War II, Britain occupied Indonesia. The UK did this to give the Netherlands time to build up the troop numbers necessary to repress any push for independence. In 1946, the Dutch were able to return and Britain immediately handed over control and tried to help them suppress the Indonesian revolutionaries. The hope was that by re-establishing the Dutch Empire, there would be less pressure on the UK to relinquish its empire in the area too. This ultimately didn't work and it signalled the end of Britain and the Dutch having any say in Indonesia. I hope you enjoyed Man's this episode up. with a special thanks to my patrons, James Bizanet, Kelly Moneymaker, Sky Chappelle, Katoitska, Anthony Beckett, Rod D. Martin, Yuduan okay. Wang, Marcus Arsner, Wyan Hockey, Alex. Okay, nice. Okay. <laughs> shout out to, to this YouTuber and all his patrons. Yeah, that Ooh. was. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to everyone. This video. <laughs> yeah, um, the name of the channel is History Matters. So he, that was a short video, but a very. Yeah, um, I was expecting to be a little bit longer, but. Uh, uh, That's just, what she this said. Just makes me. Just makes me. <laughs> uh, the office. <laughs> okay. okay. What was I saying? <laughs> like, you uh, said you were, you expected it to be longer. <laughs> the video. Yes, we're talking about the video. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. <laughs> You were saying? I lost my my train of thought there. <laughs> okay. um, um, the thing is, Indonesia has been kind of like um, in the middle of this war because it's apparently like um, profitable for them. So Britain and um, Dutch, the Dutch, the Netherlands, they have been always like trying to see who who 
uses Indonesia the most, right? But at the end yeah. of the day, also Britain was using Indonesia to make the Dutch stronger. So I, I, I think it's like, it's good that Indonesia has the independence now. Um, yeah. What, I, what, what, me, what this video made me think is, is that uh, how much of history I still need to learn. Yeah. Because there are so many, so many things that we have missed. There are so many little things that make a huge difference and made a huge difference in the past. And some of those things are not even, uh, the, 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 most of the public don't even know about it. Yeah, there are but so many, very... so many historical facts that are oppressed or yeah. omitted, like yeah. in, in our education. Um, not only like in this case, but also i've seen a few indian um history also and yeah. it, bro it, nobody teaches those things but of course like you grew up in a different country than i have so you learned yeah. a different history than i have yeah actually a part of of pernambuco which is a brazilian state was a, a, had a, a a colony from the netherlands mm. so um actually Part of my family ha has a uh, ha it's Dutch has some yeah has some Dutch. <laughs> oh wow! On, on the, I might, yeah, I, I actually I might have a little bit of that too. Oh, that's great! So um, yeah, we did see in the map there. Um, was it New New Guinea, New Guinea that they were showing? I think so. I think so. And next to it was the Dutch colony. That's really close to. Well, yeah. that's the north of Brazil. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. That, that, that would. That, that, yeah. That would explain. So. Yeah. So. And the I south of Brazil that... has a lot of, um, you know, British and Italian. Brazil has a lot of Europeans in 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 the south yeah. also. Yes. Yes. So, uh, I think this is very interesting, and I and I believe that we should uh learn more about this stuff because it's you know you know what what that that saying that says uh if you don't know your past you are condemned to repeat it in the future yeah so it's always important to uh, yeah i, I know that know phrase what happened in the past so yeah. the bad things does not repeat <laughs> exactly His, history repeats itself yeah, yeah that is interesting so guys we're going on this kind of like a journey of discovering new history and i hope you guys enjoy these history videos um if you have anything that you want us to react to whether it's from the uk netherlands or um indonesia or any other country brazil um let us know in the comments and also if you have a video that you want us to check out then you can send a super chat or use the link in the description guys thank you so much for watching like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Now you can get full access to exclusive content, special reactions to shows, series, anime, full movies, and even request a video of your choice. Just become a YouTube member or join Buy Me A Coffee today. Find out more. The link is in the description. Never break. Always fight. Never quit. Do it right.